So welcome back. In this series, we're exploring the hidden epidemic of iodine deficiency. So far, we explore the causes, the health impacts, the broader social and economic impacts. So this hidden epidemic seems to be a daunting problem, but there is a silver line, and that is that iodine deficiency is completely reversible. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The most common measure is using iodized salt and it has been successful and cost effective in many parts of the world. But apart from iodized salt, it's also important to have a diverse diet including seafood, dairy products, and iodine enriched foods. In some cases, it may be necessary to have iodine supplements. According to the Iodine Global Network, the number of countries with severe iodine deficiency has dramatically decreased since 1993 from 113 to 19. Despite this progress, I want to caution you. The reason why it's called the hidden epidemic is because the number of countries and people, even in North America, who are iodine deficient is increasing. And this is because changes in dietary habits, such as lower intake of iodized salt, lower intake of seafood, and lower intake of dairy products. Furthermore, restaurants or caterers or outside food vendors often use kosher, coarse, or Himalayan salts. And these salts, have little to no iodine. So that's all I have for this week's video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by liking and subscribing. Until the next week's video, take care.